inside the Clark Center to do an in-depth, serious interview of the cast of Beauty and the Beast. From Napoma High School. Here we go. Here oh, we go. welcome back to Hello Quest, by the way. Oh yeah, welcome Let's back go. to Hello Quest. Hey Angel. Hello. How does it feel to be a customer on Beauty and the Beast? Stressful. Oh. The amount of quick changes that I have to do is kind of surprising, but also not if you pay attention closely. Oh, how many quick changes are you in charge of? I'd say around 12. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a lot. Uh, well, yeah, there's a lot of stuff I have to do in the shop. So. Have fun glue gunning. Thank you. Hey, Keaton. Good morning. <laughs> That's a beautiful beauty mark. Thank you. We need to redo that. We <laughs> redo How's it going? Good. How does it feel to play an inanimate object? Um, fulfilling. Oh, really? It was, it was always your dream to be inanimate? Yeah. What inanimate object is he playing? He's playing a candelabra. Right? Oh. Or would you call it a... A candlestick. Yeah, a candle yeah. over it. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to set anybody on fire? Yeah. Yeah? I may or may not do that. Oh, wonderful. Ooh, that would be fun. Okay, we won't tell if anybody catches on fire. It wasn't him. <laughs> yeah, I think we know who to really look at when it comes to people being on fire. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Miss Blanchard. And what's your job on the show? So for this show, I was doing some of the scenic artwork, so painting the sets. Um, I helped a little bit with some design inspiration. I built the rose, and I was doing makeup for the show. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of hats to wear. Yeah. Did you enjoy it, though? I did. It was a really great time. I love this show. Awesome. Thank you. Hi, Jeff. What part do you play in tonight's uh, show? Uh, I play an ensemble character, uh, characters, and one minor lead role called Monsieur Dark. Miss, what's a Monsieur Dark? Um, he's a dude that locks up uh, Belle's father, right. or tries to. It doesn't work out well. How many costume changes do you have? About three or four. Is there anything you'd like to say to the Hello Quest family? Um, that they should come see the show even though they're already here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the show was last week, as far as you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, the show's is going to be and was good. <laughs> yeah. Alright, thank you. Mm -hmm. Information that Gloria is sleeping in her car. We're gonna go find out if it's true. Let's go. Yes, let's go. That's our car over there, to the left. <laughs> Hello. Time to get up. We have some interview questions for you. Yes, Hello. we'd like to know uh, how does it feel to play a feather duster? It's terrible. Does it, it is it have a lot to do with your personality and how feathery you are? Yes. I like your shirt. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, that's going on the channel. Oh yes, it because is. we went and found you. Yes. Uh, people. People. Mm, how do so, you know what my car looks like? Uh, yep, guess. now it's on the internet. You told me and showed yeah, me videos like of your car. <laughs> don't pretend like you don't want us to know what your car looks like. So how does it feel to be uh, treated like you are uh, being followed by the paparazzi? Oh, terrible! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I expected that. I was trying to sleep. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, yep, when nope. you're gonna, uh, it's call time. No, no more sleeping. Uh, you have to do a show. No, I was hoping nobody would notice. <laughs> you're going to get noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you guys pull up too. I guess I heard Rich like talking, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> I did not. That so, Dory, how does it feel to play a man? Uh, cool. Yeah? Yeah. What do you like most about it? Not having to wear heels. Oh, yes. 
Very good. And, boots. <laughs> and what is it like having to wear a wig on stage? Uh, tight and sometimes itchy. <laughs> Uh, but you get used imagine. to it. Yeah? You get used to yeah. it. <laughs> How do you feel being in a show that portrays Stockholm Syndrome with singing and dancing? I don't think it's necessarily Stockholm Syndrome. Because she doesn't like the Beast until he's like, and then like, he's literally like, you can go. He's literally like, you can go. I mean, I don't like, like some, I don't like the song, there's something there that wasn't there before. Because there, it was not there before. <laughs> and she's like, she's like, but there's something in him that I did not see. You didn't see it because he was being rude to you. That's the line that, that irks me. <laughs> Very good. Me. That's correct. <laughs> you win. How does it feel playing an iconic Disney princess? It is absolutely amazing. This is my dream role. Like, I've been Ariel, oh. I've been Pocahontas with Bella. It's been my dream role forever. Oh. So when I finally got it, I was like, I was so thrilled. <laughs> uh -huh. How does it feel to play a victim of Stockholm Syndrome? Wow. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Do you not agree that Belle clearly is, falls in love with her she, captor? It's weird. And it's weird that she never knows that he's a prince until the very end. So she falls in love with an animal, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> not every time we have you on HelloQuest, you're eating. Is that, is that something you're a fan of doing? I'm a very big fan of eating. Um, it very much supports my role as Gaston. <laughs> We're building the muscle. Yeah. As a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating. <laughs> good, good. So, how many eggs do you eat? <clears throat> Four dozen. <laughs> oh. oh. How, well, how many eggs does Cameron eat? Mm. I usually like two eggs. What? <laughs> like a what do you yeah. mean? He can eat like eight eggs at once. And like a breakfast though. A normal breakfast is like two eggs. So, um, have you been doing any push-ups to, you know, get into character? You tell me. Let's see. Oh, oh no, oh, oh no, yeah. one. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, he there does the go. clappy kind. No, no, you gotta get down. What? All right, no, no, Jared. <laughs> you two, you two. Go, <laughs> come on, yes, both. Yes. Together, ready? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Yeah! How many, no, don't hurt the star. Well, don't hurt Gaston. Oh, oh gosh, is somebody counting? <laughs> you gave up. You would probably continue. He would. Perfect. That was, that was very impressive. Good job. It's wild. How does it feel to play the perpetrator of a Stockholm Syndrome situation? You know, I don't... That's very interesting, actually. <laughs> yeah, we always talk about that. Oh, you like, do? Well, because, like, yeah, because Bell isn't supposed to, like, like, that's kind of weird. <laughs> that's weird. How does that make you feel? I don't know. It's kind of cool. That's kind of <laughs> cool. You think that's cool? Uh, you want to say <laughs> well, that, that on the no, internet? It's cool that there she loves me. That she, she understands that I'm, like, well... A psychopath? I no. don't think it's cool. <laughs> no, that that kind of pisses me off. That I'm a that I'm a human. And Amen. not just now. Why would she go like a beast? He's hideous. I'm gorgeous. You're dumb. <laughs> You're ugly. <laughs> it's a very sad role to play because you're not in um, a lot of the happy numbers. Um, I guess you would say. So my biggest question is. How do you go from this makeup to looking like you in a short period of time? That's, that's the, the question. That's yeah, that's the mystery. That's the You'll just have to find out. <laughs>
to hands Bell? it hands it to I, Bell. Bell pulls it Bell up. Sets it. Yeah, Bell <laughs> sets while it she's up. On, while we're saying our lines, like, yeah, as you no, saw I in the video. You. Yeah, yeah. Pretty she's cool. doing all that. Yeah, that's hilarious. Uh, you yeah, just ruined the whole show for me. Thank you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so how do we, how does it feel to direct? Well, it was a very awesome large project. <laughs> we had a lot of fun and a lot of problems. As you know, at Napomo, our stage was not small enough or big enough for this set. So being able to work on stage and then jump on the floor and back on the stage was definitely something we had to work out. But the cast is fabulous, so we had a lot of fun. At the School of the Dining Room Project presents your dinner. Thank you. 